So here we are. Welcome to episode 53 yes. of Topicopedia, the uh, podcast where we talk... Anything. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. goodness. Is it going to be one what? of them weeks? It's going to be one of them weeks for sure, yeah, because... I'm knackered. Are you knackered? I'm knackered. I am. I am knackered. Oh my god. And we're kind of um in an hour and do we do we wait till next week or do we do one and I kinda feel we'd be disappointing people if we didn't. I think you're right. I think people want to hear about why we're so tired. (laughs) We'll get into it. We'll get into it. We'll get there. It's not related. (laughs) Just just put that out there to start with. I mean it's not related. Not related. Oh, we, we don't have the same reason, no. <laughs> it's not nothing like that. Oh, right. Oh, my God. <laughs> God it's, it's got, this is how it's going to go now, isn't it? Oh, my God. Okay, so episode oh. 53 of the Top Comedian Podcast. I'm Steve. I'm Nicole. And, well... Here we are. It's been a week. It's actually been a little bit more than a week, hasn't it? And it's I been think a week and a bit. And it, but it yeah. feels like it's been like months. It does. I'm not going to lie. It feels like it's been months. It's uh, one of those things where it feels like it's been months, but it also feels like it was ten minutes ago. Because I, I don't, I've got this problem at the moment where there's so much to do, and the days feel very long because I'm doing so much. But then at the end of the day, I haven't got enough time to quite get everything done, and so the days are too long and too short at the same time does that make sense (laughs) that was the biggest amount of word spaghetti i've heard in a while (laughs) that's a really polite way of putting it isn't it too long and too short at the same time right they are does that not make sense (laughs) Uh, probably to someone but they're not flying by but i I just don't have enough time (laughs) and yet they're dragging and it's just Do you, do you just keep losing like half an hour here and half an hour there on TikTok? I haven't had a chance the last few days to go near TikTok. <laughs> I mean, we've been really good, haven't we, at posting on TikTok. The last few days, I just haven't been able to. Yeah, the last few days. I, You know, I should, I should, while I was on my trip, I should have posted loads. But uh, pff, yeah, it yeah, didn't you should have it, done. It it's your fault. It yeah. did not happen at all. Uh, oh. But the thing is, when you're busy, it's really difficult, isn't it? Because I feel like it slips I could in the back of your mind. Really... It does. It does. I mean, also, I mean, I was quite busy with a kids' party yesterday, and it's not like you can film other people's kids and put them on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Indeed, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, it's a bit bit dodge, isn't it? People mm-hmm. might start to <clears throat> question question my motives so um yeah so what what okay so what have you done this week then what haven't i bloody done okay (laughs) no i mean story time get your feet up kids the thing is the thing is though is i feel like it's not even much to speak of aside from yesterday which was incredibly busy um I, i it started at the weekend i wasn't very well so i oh because we haven't actually spoken in such a long time, I forgot. I went to a gig on Thursday last week, right? Which oh, you is, did, yeah. yeah. I saw yeah. bits of this on TikTok. Oh, yeah, it was amazing. Look at you getting to the oh, front. Yeah, so I'm going to tell you how I did that, shall I? I'll tell you all about it. Right, so we decided to to not go at when the doors opened we thought we we're not too bothered about the warm-up packs we don't really know who they are and it's cheaper to drink at home okay, okay. <laughs> so we were sat at my house until about half past eight drinking doors opened at half seven and we sort of presumed that you know the main act that we were going to see was going to come on around nine ish and we were right we got there at quarter to nine ordered a couple of drinks at the bar necked them went to the toilets and as we were coming out of the toilets we, we we had enough time to get one more drink and then the warm-up finished and everyone started flooding towards the bar and the toilets so we just walked straight to the front oh that is strategy <laughs> isn't it that honestly never fails shouldn't have told the world that they're all gonna take my strategy now but it works. It's it's honestly it's genius and foolproof. Um, so yeah, we got right to the front. Um, he commented on my outfit. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> it was lovely. Um, 
yeah, it was really good. He got in the crowd with us at one point. He he played every single song on the set list, which they don't normally do. Um, it honestly, it was it was the best night of my life. I think actually, <laughs> um, it was lovely. I went and had a little chat, and I don't. I was a little bit lubricated, okay, um, and I don't really remember what I said to his wife, but it must have been really lovely. <laughs> Because every time she caught a glimpse of us after that, she was giving us a little wave. It was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, so we went and sat out the front and we thought, well, we'll just wait for him to come out. And we waited a good hour at least. <laughs> but eventually he came out. No one else had hung around to wait. We were being like proper fangirls about it. And so, yeah, we collared him and uh, he, he shook my hand about eight times. And I did promise I was never going to wash that hand. Obviously, I, I I have once or twice since then. You have to, don't you? <laughs> but I should hope you are. He, oh, it was amazing. We had such a lovely chat. Again, I was a little bit drunk, but I think I remember that better than talking to his wife, um, possibly because it was more significant. Got a nice little selfie with him. I'm sure I can put that on the website at some point it Excellent. won't be tonight um <laughs> nice. I'm, I'm tired i need so, my bed so little ha- is happening tonight <laughs> so little is happening tonight um so yeah, it was all lined up. i'm on it now i'm in my soft office it's just a matter of <laughs> putting soft, every, turning everything office. off and closing my eyes that's all it yeah it's my soft office um so yeah that was incredible and then uh i think it was sunday morning i woke up and i felt like a bag of shit <laughs> um, I felt like I'd been hit by a bus. And so, I mean, that was the first time I've been out out in 3.25 years we worked out. 3.25? Yeah, yeah. You're not just um, saying three and a quarter? No. 3.25 it is then? Yes. Um, so <laughs> I think it, it was my first time out in a crowd in such a long time. And I fucking caught something, didn't I? course i did um (laughs) so i didn't feel very well sunday or monday or i'm not feeling particularly wonderful now i've still got a really bad you know you can go to the clinic and get some cream for it (laughs) oi look we listen we we told people we didn't have the same reason don't make it weird um (laughs) people are gonna start to suspect steel and stop it um so um what was I saying? Yeah, so yesterday was my daughter's birthday and it was a big one. It was the big one oh. Uh, double digits and all that. So yeah, we, we, we made a big deal of it. I woke up early um and was exhausted. <laughs> What's new? Uh and I got the party for, she this is the first year. I mean my, my daughter has autism and sort of struggles sort of forming friendships um you know she's a bit different children notice that and can not be great about things like that can they so um yeah it's nice that she now has a couple of friends and it was her first ever birthday that we've been able to invite friends around and it's not just been family and my friends so it was really lovely um but a lot of preparation had to make all the food ready i then had my parents coming later on in the evening so i had to prepare food for, for for them as well um and Holly popped round and visited. She managed to get off the motorway for long <laughs> enough. Um, <laughs> so uh, it, it was honestly an absolutely amazing day. We discovered my puppy is terrified of balloons. Um, oh just so how, yeah. how many people came to the party then? It was only two. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's all right. two more than she's ever had. And you know what? Yeah. I did not know how much kids eat. I mean, Luella eats not very much at all and i thought I, I you know you just sort of go by what you know don't you so i didn't i made what i thought looked like an awful lot of food but they polished a lot off and then i felt bad <laughs> i thought have i not given them enough food but i sent them home with little party bags full with food so if they, they <laughs> still had the munchies when they left at least i sent them home with some food <laughs> felt awful um but it was it was amazing but like i, I, don't, I absolutely hate toasting parties me too. Or, 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 well, ones, or even ones. or even just friend round, you know. Oh really? Oh I like um, that. No, no. 
Why not? Why don't you like and it? And then it's the small talk afterwards when they come to pick them up. Oh, yeah. That that was awkward. <laughs> that was awkward. Because, I mean, I'd, one of the mums I've never met before, I left. I let Adam do the other mum, uh, so to speak. I mean, God. God, I'm making this so weird. Anyway. <laughs> I spoke to one of them, but I'd never met her before. So I felt like I had to stand and have a bit of a chat, even though my parents were just arriving as I was there talking to her, um, you know, and there was just a lot going on at once. But um, yeah, but it's, yeah, it was, it was good. Um, but I agree. I it's stressful. And, uh, do you know, the, the, the kids, they're lovely, lovely girls. I genuinely, they can come back any time, but they just wanted to talk to me. Okay. Now, when I was when I was a kid, I would have done anything to avoid breathing anything to an adult. Yeah. But these kids wanted to talk to me, and it was just like, "This is lovely, girls, but like, come on, I'm awkward. Go away." <laughs> I messaged someone. I was like, oh, "This is awkward," and he went, "Right, just go in the kitchen and be an in inverted commas busy." And so I did. I went to the kitchen and made myself incredibly busy doing things I didn't necessarily need to be doing, but. It was better than making awkward small talk with someone else's child. Yes. So there you go. Yes, there you go. I agree. Oh, do you, I, I don't know about you. I just don't really know how to talk to children. I don't know how to talk to adults either, so that's... I can, um, it depends on the adult, in all honesty. I can make I pretty good small talk with an adult. Um, I don't know. I'm yeah. not a very interesting person, so I never know what to have a conversation about. The weather. <laughs> it always the weather, isn't it? It's the most British thing going. Oh yeah, we'll exactly. talk about the weather. Yeah, talk about the weather. Yeah, <laughs> did you did you see uh, Charlie Bob's on the telly getting his pretty hat on the other day? There you go, talking <laughs> point. I don't know. <laughs> Look, I, I don't know. I don't know. Most I, I'm. I seem to be one of those people that people want to talk to. Like if I'm in a waiting room, guaranteed someone will start talking to me about their cats. It yeah. happens a lot. And it's like, oh, that's lovely. Look away, look away, look away. And they start talking again. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Look away, look away. Do, get your phone out. No, they're going to talk anyway. Okay. And it's so awkward, isn't it? Like, yeah. Yeah, it's tricky talking to strangers. Yes, <laughs> I'm with you on that. So, do you still do parties? Because actually your daughter's younger than, than mine, so you must still have to do parties for her. Uh, well, we usually tend to, like, try and not have them at the house. So oh, that's, done, like, that's a smart move. Swimming and things like that in the past. In fact, I think oh, last like, time yeah. she didn't have a party at all. Uh, oh, okay. But I'm thinking maybe next time, maybe cinema. Yeah, good um, one. You know, you just... just the older they get, the easier it is to do that, isn't it? And, and sort so. of make it more of an experience than a party. Yeah, I mean, it's awkward well, when they're dead young and you do like soft plays and things. And then it is yeah. the awkward thing about the parents, you know, yeah. milling about looking bored. It's like... <laughs> yeah i mean as much as it's sad that my daughter's not had friends around until this year in a way for me it's been quite nice because i haven't had to make the small talk with people i don't know so there's that i suppose <laughs> um but what about your boy because he's he's a bit older what does he do for his birthday oh he just does what he wants <laughs> he'll just go to town with a few friends or something yeah that's fair just, enough just leave him to it I mean, I Googled earlier, at what age do you stop doing birthday parties for your children? And there are no suggestions for that <laughs> in, on the internet. Like, none. Um, there's probably, there must be some mum's net threads about that. Well, I didn't find them, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it was, it, it showed me nothing. And I just thought, well, I don't know, because I feel like kids' parties, as we think of them, I feel like they stop around sort of 10, 11 as soon as they go up to big school, it becomes different, doesn't it? It's more a few friends and you might go out in town for the day or you might, like you say, go to the cinema or you you start to do different things, don't you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's that variety, so I would, isn't it? I would say that parties stop at the <clears throat> end of primary school. Yes, I think that's a fair assumption to make. They're oh, almost then you. go and do their own thing. And if exactly. they say they want a party at your house, then... You just go, yeah, whatever. Here's a limit of how many, and yeah. you clean up after yourself. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm happy to sort of look into things like little sleepovers, but I wouldn't want like eight kids in the house at like two max for a birthday. One, one non-birthday 
one at a time, but for a birthday, maybe two. I haven't got the bloody room for more anyway. (laughs) (laughs) There it is. So what has happened in the news this week? Oh, Philly. What? Philly Schofield. Philly. Oh, God, it's all been about, yeah, Philly. Yeah, it's all been about the scope. Philly this, Philly that. He's had his hand up too many gophers. That's his problem, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. It was always going to come back to bite him in the ass one day, wasn't it? There you go. Yeah. Oh, dear. Um, but, you know, I Googled it, and there's not very much out there about it, really. It's very vague. Like they, they, There's a rumour that he's hired this really expensive like crisis team. I, b- I believe there's, there is a media injunction. Yes, exactly. Saw, so they're not saw, allowed to talk about, about that. It. Yeah, so they can't. Mm. So it is. A, but the fact is, if there were no substance to what's being suggested, ITV wouldn't have told him that he needs to go. No, I don't. But now, apparently, B, BBC's lined him up. <laughs> which, which uh, well, I mean, they love the pedos, don't they? <laughs> BBC, they were rubbing their hands together as soon as they got wind of it, weren't they? They were they were waiting for it, weren't they? <laughs> Gordon Bennett. <laughs> I mean, oh, they don't have the brains they were born uh, with them, do they? You know, I, I feel like every time I look at my phone, I've got a news alert that celebrities died. Oh, who is it now? Uh, well, Rolf Harris, which <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is no. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he was a talented guy, but he did unforgivable things. He really did. <clears throat> He's still a celebrity, though. Yes, you don't stop being known just because you've done something wrong. No, oh, yeah, no. We we all know who Rolf Harris is, but fact, we're not we, we know we know we know a lot of like prolific murderers and things like that. I mean, it kind of does yeah. make them celebrity because it does. You'll it does, always yeah. kind of they will have their fan base yeah um but yeah and then obviously we found out yesterday that tina turner's died oh i missed that one you missed tina turner day <laughs> i i was busy yesterday <laughs> <You> just... <laughs> i was up to my armpits and children <laughs> so yeah, so so yeah, I mean, just I'm still looking at my phone now, just in case I'm jinxing it. And every time I look at my phone, it means oh, we're gonna have to kill another celebrity. I have to send him another notification. I'm scared for the day. I don't. I almost don't want to say it in case I jinx it. <clears throat> it's, I'm, it's gonna happen I'm, anyway. So, well, yeah, but I'm scared because <clears throat> it can't be that far off. But you know, Dave, Mister Attenborough. Our mate Dave. How old's David Attenborough now? He's in his nineties. He's ninety something six. I don't know. He's old. David Attenborough is ninety-seven. Oh, a little bit older than what I thought. There we go. I was close. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Born in nineteen twenty-six. Yeah. Blimey. Oh yeah, that's true. Blimey. So yeah, that's that's going to be a sad one, isn't it? Yeah. Unless it turns out that, that he's got a secret life as well. No, we're not having that. <laughs> Come now. No. <laughs> That's not going to happen. No. No. Yeah, Rolf Harris is oh. 93. Oh, he had the good innings then. He didn't did, we? didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I watched um, a documentary <sighs> about him. Mm-hmm. And did you know he actually did like a, a drive about. Um, <laughs> Yeah, they released a song, didn't they, <clears throat> about um, uh, encouraging kids to, like, say no if someone touches you. Really? Yeah. And I was really shocked that he was, like, singing this song about it's my body, nobody's body but mine. Well, that's, <laughs> that's interesting, isn't it? That was his big gay beard, <laughs> that advert. That was his beard. But yeah, that's mental. Yeah, Kids Can't Say No in 1985, short film uh, made by himself. Kids oh, Can't Say No. <clears throat> I had he, no idea that even existed, um, but it's it's kind of ironic. But then maybe he, he made the campaign and then with the thought of, well, kids can say no, but if they say yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's another matter. <laughs> oh, you're I'm terrible, just Nicole. saying. That's terrible. That's not all right, <laughs> is it? <laughs> Well, I've just oh, cancelled us. Yeah, <laughs> we're officially cancelled now. Oh, dear. No, but I'm just saying, you know, maybe that's that's what he was thinking, <laughs> or it was just his beard, just his cover up, a bit like Schofield coming out as gay to to you know defer from the fact that he was shagging this young lad who he's known since the lad was eleven or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the the obviously the media can't talk about, so it didn't happen because the media is not printing it. Yeah, well, it's, it's happening because otherwise he wouldn't have been ousted from the sh- from this morning, and he wasn't even allowed to go on to have like a farewell or anything, which he told Piers Morgan apparently that he was very sad about. <laughs> mm. Oh dear, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway. <clears throat> was your week my week yeah i know you've had a busy week yeah when did it start (laughs) monday normally (laughs) (laughs) um as you may or not may not i let me cough you fill i'll cough okay so anyway steve's week started on monday um and he right let's I, see if i'm better now okay okay yeah i don't want me to tell you we can't even be asked putting an edit in there because that's work um <laughs> <laughs> so we're my, not doing work today uh, but well no. it feels like it so my week basically started on sunday oh yeah, i was no. really nervous because starting a new job monday morning hey congratulations hey, thank you um, but for this new job, they wanted me to do my first two days of training for a remote job in the office. Yeah. Okay. And during the interview stages, they were like, oh, yeah, it's either going to be in Manchester or London. I thought, oh, yeah. You know, a lot of the people in the interview were Scottish and stuff and um, someone from, like, Preston and stuff like that, Bolton mm-hmm. and whatnot. I thought, oh, yeah, they'll have it in Manchester. Yeah. No, it would be more logical. To me that, uh... <laughs> it would be, yeah, because they were taking on like twenty of us in one go. Okay, so that meant I had to go down to London on Sunday evening. Good lord! And I don't know where to start with London because it just felt like it took forever to get there, even though it is only pff, two hours on the train. Mm. I mean, the train was quite quick. I was annoyed though because. Um, <clears throat> it was a bit longer than that because I had to get on. I left for car at my dad's house. So I had to get on the train there and then change at Wigan. And it allowed right. me one hour and four minutes to walk across the road to get the next train. Right. Well, That's... actually, well, actually, I did look it up to see if there's any earlier trains to, to London, Euston. Yeah. There was one that was like half an hour, so like slap bang in the middle. And I looked okay. at that and that would take 20 minutes longer to get to Euston. Really? Because it had more stops, yeah. Basically, okay. the train that I was getting on was stopping at Warrington Bank Quay and then London Euston. Okay. So that was lovely. It was just like two stops. A direct. You're there. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. I'd rather have that, a shorter train journey, but wait longer for the train. And then you can wander around a bit and use the toilet or get a coffee well, or whatever, can't you? Well, yeah, I had a stroll around Wigan Town Centre. Yeah. That oh, looks like a bomb's hit it. <laughs> It was a nice sunny day, to be fair. It was nice. Uh, but they are in the process of demolishing the old shopping centres in the middle. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, they, the council purchased them and now they're flattening it. Uh, yeah. You know, these ideas of the modern 15-minute cities <laughs> where you put the shops at the bottom <laughs> and then put loads of flats above. Yeah, they've got yeah. that whole thing going on that they're starting yes. to build in Wigan. Um, so, yeah, so I stroll around there for an hour and then obviously like sat on the platform. Enjoyed the sunshine. Yeah, See, because I was in it? two minds because if it's your first day in a new job, yeah, even though they say they put on the email, whatever, dress casual, mm-hmm. what would you go dressed as? Mr. Blobbit. No, I, <laughs> I mean... I knew that. I knew I'd just dressed. I'd exactly <laughs> line that up. I don't... I, I probably would go casual but not not like your comfies that you not your jogging bottoms kind of casual but like jeans maybe a nice top yeah well it was quite warm so on the train down i was wearing t-shirt and shorts 
Okay. And I, I packed for like everything. I packed, <laughs> which is a bit stupid. You have to. I took the smallest bag. I took one of them Ryanair under seat bags. That's okay. my bag because I thought I'm not wandering around London looking like a complete tit with a, a you know, full on cabin bag. Oh, no one cares. But yeah. <laughs> well, I noticed that when I got there. But I didn't want to be, I didn't, in my mind, I didn't want to be traipsing a cabin bag around. I wanted one I could yeah. put my back, just stroll around. So I took joggers, I took trousers, and I took a couple of pairs of shorts. Yeah. There's points me taking the joggers and the trousers. I wore just t shirt and shorts the whole time. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't even sunny down there. It, I'd looked at the weather for up here and it was like lovely. Yet down yeah. there, it was overcast most of the time. Yeah, I mean, but I know thank- some people in London, and they said it was overcast. But down here, it was glorious. Yeah. So, something about London at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I turned up in my t-shirt and shorts. Um, but it was it was very laid back, so I felt comfortable, which was good. Good. Because it was warm. Yes. But yeah, getting the train down, I was fuming because not only had the this allocated seat was going backwards. Mm. But I also didn't have a window. Oh, no. So at least I didn't put anyone in the seat next to me. But it's not like I could spread out and peer out the window and stuff because there was no window. It's nice to have a window because at least you can, like, lean then as well, can't you? And that like, you can't really... I could lean against no the way. wall, but it just... Oh, it so. just wasn't... I wanted to... I wanted the views. Because, it's let's nice face it, out the train internet is shit. Do they have internet now? They, I mean, <laughs> they do on Avanti, darling. Well, listen, I haven't been on a train, sweetie, in a decade. So, <laughs> well, not a modern one. I've been on a steam train a couple of times. Oh, okay, that's a bit bad. But uh, well, the steam trains may not have mobile internet, but um, the the supposedly posh train I was on did have free internet. But pff, I couldn't even stream YouTube on my phone. <laughs> it was that bad. Uh, that's not good. I, I was kind of toggling between having, I don't know what network they they use. They must have used a mobile network for it. Okay. They probably use three because I was there toggling between three, <laughs> my three data and toggling between that and just like Jack always loading. They must be on the same as you. That's not <laughs> good, is it? God, sir. do you know, I, I, I use three and I find... That in Cornwall, I get really good coverage with it, but anywhere else, rubbish. Yeah, it's completely hit and miss as to where they come. It cover. really is. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I got there. You, the really funny thing is, when on my trip there, so I had my ticket, and as soon as I got on the train, the first train, they asked for my ticket and scanned it. Mm-hmm. I got off at Wigan Walgate, and they've got a row of. Um, gates you got to scan your ticket to get through yeah so you go across the road to Wigan Northwestern no gates anywhere okay get on the train toddle on the train no one comes and checks my ticket oh I hate when that happens get off at London Euston no gates there coming off the platform no way and I was like that's crackers I could have just paid well, I didn't pay. The, the company paid for it. But they could have just, I could have got away with it. Um, oh, that's I couldn't, so annoying when couldn't that happened. I'm coming back, though, because bizarrely the train left from a platform that did have gates. Okay. But yeah, but, yeah, it's just very bizarre that you can manage to make a big journey like that. And not go through a single gate. And not go through a gate, no. That is amazing. Yeah, There's the... always bloody gates at Plymouth, I have to tell you. <laughs> God damn. It's quite a duck's arsehole down here they are. Yeah, so I could have got away with a tiny bit of fair dodging, but I weren't paying, so I weren't too fussed. Can I just interject just for a second? Yes. And I wish I'd saved this now, but I think it it was on Instagram. Um, And if I can find it again, I'll share it with you. But it was uh, a passenger on a train had gone to the toilet and the ticket guy opened the toilet door to check that whilst they were using the toilet. That's bad, isn't it? I know people do fair dodge by using the toilets. Yeah, so but usually they, that usually they won't unlock it if it's locked, but they no, will hover it outside was. it and see who's going in and out. Yeah, no, they, they they'll they only, opened it. They'll only usually through. open it if it's if it's unlocked. Yeah, no, I, th- I think it was locked, and they'd actually open it. So they probably I'll hadn't locked I, it. It'd be one of them toilet doors reckon. where 
you don't know whether it's locked or not. Oh, probably. Yeah, I don't because, understand train yeah, toilets. Yeah, the train they're, they're the most complicated I things don't, going. I don't get it. I don't get it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, yeah, no, trains aren't for me. Yeah. I don't mind a train journey if it's short enough that I don't need to use the toilet at all. Hey, do you want some more lift talk? Uh-oh. <laughs> What's happened? What's so, gone down? So, I was saying in, well, what you would probably consider in them parts of the world, a budget hotel. Okay. Like, it did have a queen-size bed. But literally, okay. the toilet was like one step away from it. Like the uh, the bathroom was kind of like just a glass partition in the room. Right. Um, you couldn't get all the way around the bed because it was up against the wall. Right. That's how small okay. the room it was. It didn't have a wardrobe. It just had some hangers on hooks on the wall. Okay. This does sound a little bit budgety. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it, okay. it was very modern though. Very clean. Very modern. Mm. What I did love though Good. is the blinds. It had a this panel on the wall to control light in the blinds. You just hit a button Ooh. and these blinds come down the other side of the uh, oh. the glass and just black it out. It's great. Amazing. But you know, you open the blinds, you get a great view of the BT tower. Mm. <clears throat> but yeah, the lift the lift was the first lift I've ever been into where you walk into the lift. Well, I mean that happens in every lift, but the unusual oh, yeah. bit here. I got in and I thought there's no door in front of me, but there's a door to the right of me. Really? Yeah. I've never yet seen a lift where the doors aren't either just on one side or on opposite sides. Yeah, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, and I, I bet it must take some funky mechanism because obviously when the door opens, it's got to put it somewhere. I bet it's some kind well, yeah. of crazy design where they, they managed to cram in two doors on the same corner. Yeah, so I'd was... like to see that actually. I'd like to see the uh, engineering that's got into yeah, no, that. I should, I should have filmed it. Now you could have seen. Um, I wish you had. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, so it was a nice hotel, but the bed was rock solid. So I just, yep. I was up half a night with back pain. Oh no! Instead of pillows, we kind of they were basically cushions. Oh. Yeah, they they were square pillows. Oh, how strange! <laughs> I know. It was very weird. And I was just like, this doesn't feel right. It, didn't, it should be pillow shaped. Yeah, that I wouldn't like that either. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, so that was the hotel. It had LED lighting and everything, which was, which was great. You could get nice lighting mood and stuff. Lovely. Um, free Wi-Fi that worked, which was nice. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hotel Wi-Fi can be a bit hit or miss, can't it? It can. It's quite funny when I got there and I was checking in. Uh, I mean, this this room, though, because I'd seen the receipt, mm -hmm. for a budget hotel, I mean, I know it was only pff, a stone's throw away. You, I mean, you walk out the door and you can see Oxford Street. Yeah. So you walk out. So for a budget hotel, it was 200 quid a night. Oh, I nearly spat my coke out then. Yeah. Goodness me. Okay. Wow. And that doesn't include breakfast. Look, if I'm paying more than £40 a night, I think I'm hard done by. Yeah. <laughs> and I expect, I expect a, you know, Premier Inn type effort for that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't believe Come on. it. Um, <clears throat> so, um, but yeah, I mean, the funny thing is, when I got there, I was checking in. There was all this shouting going on outside. Oh, God. So I was there bobbing around and whatnot. And there's something kicking off. I've got no idea what happened, but something was kicking off. Don't know if someone tried to grab someone's handbag or something and then someone had given them a good kick in or <clears throat> I don't know, but like for like a few hours later there was like half a dozen police cars and an ambulance there. Oh my giddy up. Well, we're in London. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know you're like, in London like, now, yeah. yeah. Oh, like, literally I, I was checking in and that was the issue. Like just straight away. Um, oh, before that, I tried to go to the Amazon shop. I really wanted to have the experience of walking in, picking stuff up and walking out. Yes. However. Oh. I, I don't like this story already. Yeah, I know. I had an account issue. Oh. This is, this is the hilarious part about it. So I was stood there for like 10 minutes, like trying different things. The guy's like, oh, try removing your card, re adding your card, try doing this, try doing that, try calling support. Trying to bring up support, and I'm thinking I've got deja vu here of when I'm delivering bloody parcels for them. 
Yeah. And it was exactly the same hold music waiting as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> and they're, like, thinking, they're not going to be able to help. <clears throat> anyway, they said, oh, yeah, this is a known issue. Um, we're sorry about it. We'll forward it on, get it sorted for you, and we'll email you when it's sorted. Oh, brilliant. So that was a wasted trip. That looked good. That was then. So, yeah, oh, so no, I didn't annoying. get to use the Amazon Fresh shop, which was a bit annoying. Oh, no. So, Jeff, I know you're listening. I want you to sort out that. People shouldn't have that issue. People should be able to walk into your shop and shop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right. Fix it. Yeah. I mean, you did yourself out of your money there and we know you like that so <laughs> come on <laughs> come on buddy oh oh man there's just so much to tell about the place i wanted a new pair of trainers yes and i thought <clears throat> you know what sports directs there on oxford street flagship store nice big one Lovely. um you know i'll be able to just pick up a pair the same as what i've got you know because they still sell them they're on the website 37 quid Okay. On the website. Um, you know, you go in Sports Direct and every time you look at the trainers, there's always stickers on, red stickers. Should be whatever price, now whatever price. Yes. That is the store where they don't use the stickers and it has the really? original price. Yes. They were 50 uh, quid. Oh, no. How does that work? 37 quid on the website, yet 50 quid in the shop. It's because it's London. Right. Why would you pay money to go to london and go shopping on oxford street because it's london and, out of and like... it looks, because it's oxford street people they, people in london you know what well, just want to pay 20 percent more just for the fun of it but look it's london everything's more expensive your, your shoebox hotel room with your dodgy coat hangers on the wall was 200 pound a night <laughs> you think anyone's gonna quibble over a few extra quid on a pair of trainers <clears throat> just the way it is there and it's oxford street and the reason they won't have they the, could still the red label collect and get it cheaper yes. well there you go do that then or, or get it home delivered cheaper by the time you paid your delivery fee it's still cheaper yeah yeah it's mad how it all works and if but it, they won't put the fancy the little red labels on because they're unsightly <laughs> no it is that's that that is what it is Honestly. It's the only thing that makes me buy anything when I'm in there. Oh, it's it got a red label in. Look, yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, yeah, you and me and everyone who's normal looks at a red label and is like, here we go, boys. Yeah. And, but, <laughs> you know, but if you're someone who has a bit of money and you see a red label, you think, well, that's old stock. That's last year. If it's for <laughs> sale, it's not good. It's not this season. Honestly, that is how a lot of people do work. And especially people who live in like somewhere like Cap the capital. I mean, it is the capital, Nicole, but London. I can't brain anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's burnt out. It's completely gone. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that shocked me. I mean, <clears throat> it was like on the in the morning. I had to look at the menu for the cafe in the hotel. You know yeah. where this is going again, don't you? So I think Go it was on. something like. <sighs> I can't remember now. I think it was something like twelve pound fifty if you wanted full breakfast, okay. or for like five pound fifty you could get a bacon balm. Right, but of course, for, for, for non-northerners, a balm is essentially a sandwich, isn't it? Well, it's a it's a butty. It's a yeah. it's in a roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so, um, so obviously, you know, the first day I wake up there, it's McDonald's Monday. Right. So what's the what do you do on McDonald's Monday? What is McDonald's Monday? I don't even know you what You don't is. know what Monday... Oh, you're missing out. I'm dieting, darling. Get... Dieting. I'm getting back on here next week. I've, I was completely unable to diet while I was down there. We um, can motivate each other. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We can go in a competition. Anyway, I'm going to explain yeah, what sorry. McDonald's Monday is since you're so yes. uneducated. Sorry. Yes. Do explain to me. <laughs> McDonald's Monday is a weekly offer on their app. Okay. Where you can get something at great value. So usually it's like a breakfast thing, item, and a, a, a daytime menu item. Okay. So they had the McMuffin, right. choice, choice of filling, for one forty nine. Very good. On Monday. And then they do like a burger and be like, you know, one ninety nine or whatever. 
Has this replaced rap of the day? No, rap of the day is still a thing. They just don't advertise oh, it. Oh, not on freaking on the Deliveroo and Uber. It's not anymore. It probably isn't. <laughs> it was. It was, but it's not now. Oh, how bizarre! No, For you, they, because rap of the day is still a thing. They just don't really advertise it. But if you go to the rap section of the app, it'll show you which one's one ninety nine. Stephen. <laughs> But anyway, I obviously did that. Right. And I noticed because obviously I had to change what restaurant. I didn't fancy ordering my meal to Skelmersdale when no. I'm in London. No, it's a bit of a trek, isn't it? <laughs> so, so you know when you change store, it says prices may have changed. Yeah. So I had a nosy at how much like oh, no. it should have been before and after. Okay. So in Skem it was, I think... Three pounds twenty nine. Okay. And there it was three pounds seventy nine. Okay. That's ridiculous. So you're even play, play paying London prices in Mackey's. Yeah. <laughs> Every everyone is at it. Yeah. They're just it's banging cool. banging money on just for the fun of it. It is a crazy place, London. It <laughs> really is. I don't even want to know how much a pint costs. Uh, I didn't look. Well, actually, no, we did go out for a meal. I just can't remember what it said on it. Um, I'm going to ask someone. Oh, I, I was treated to a meal. Oh, lovely. Very nice, yeah. <clears throat> a Mexican place. So that was good. Oh, I love Mexican. Yeah, got a butter chicken taco. And then I got some Ooh. sweet potato things with some, some dip, which was quite nice. It was a lovely meal. For stars, okay, we, we had nachos, we all shared nachos. I love nachos, love love tacos, love Mexican, it's great, amazing. Yes, that was a nice surprise to go for that go for that meal. I've just messaged someone to find out how much <laughs> the in London is. Hopefully we'll get a timely response. I'm sure we will. <laughs> this is this show's just saying to me talk about London. I don't care. I'll sit and whinge about London as much as I like. I'm not a big Go fan of the city. It. Oh, you know no. what else? You know what else bugged me? Go on. So the lift in the hotel. Yes. And the lift in work in the main yes. office. Okay. Where I started my new job. Yeah. When the lift got to the floor, what noise did it make? Bing. I don't know. No, it went ding dong. Oh, like a doorbell. Like a doorbell. Oh, how strange. What is the deal? Why would you have your lift arrival sound as a doorbell? The, oh, all the fancy lift and elevator dings you could possibly have, you pick a bloody doorbell. Oh, man. I was really disappointed. It's one of those noises as well when you hear it. It's like... <gasps> Yeah. It's not 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 quite like your alarm clock going off. Definitely not quite the smoke alarm going off. But when my doorbell goes, if I'm expecting a package, I don't mind too much. Yeah. If I'm not expecting a package, it's like fuck. What do we do? What do we do? Do we just pretend we're not here? Or do, oh, it could be could be important though. What if it is something important? I just don't know it is yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hate it. Hate it. It just gives brings trauma when you hear that noise yeah. somewhere else, doesn't it? It's just like Jesus. Might as well have made it an alarm sound. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well have done. I'll tell you what, though, the building that their offices were in was so posh. Okay. It, it was kind of like stepping into... I'm going to see if I can find a picture of it. Uh, it's going to completely give away where my job is. Um, well, well, what company... There's only a handful of companies in the building. <laughs> like, <so>. Um <laughs> But I just want you to see what it looks like because um, it looks amazing, but I can't find any pictures of it. Maybe it's top secret. Mm. Mm. Imagine. Go on Google Maps and it's like been blurred out. <laughs> it probably has. Uh, oh, I've got we... a reply. I've got a reply. Go on, how, how much is a pint there? Here we go. Let's have a look. Uh <gasps> Jesus wept. Generally, around seven pounds is the average, but we had drinks after work last week, and a pint was seven pounds eighty. 
That sounds about Nearly right. Eight pounds for a pint. Huh? Oh, I saw uh, that. I'd go and buy some tinnies in Tesco yeah. and drink around the corner. <laughs> so, in Tesco. That. Right. Yeah. Have a look at um, this website and scroll down to the pictures. So, yeah, second picture down, you've got the, the entrance hall. And then a bit further down, you've got the lifts, the external of the lifts. Okay. And tell me it does not look like walking into a movie set okay. of like maybe a horror film. It could so easily be like Squid Game that you're walking into at that point. <laughs> yeah, so from the outside, <clears throat> nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. Inside. That's, I don't like that. <laughs> How clinical no. does it look? So basically, it's... Oh, can you explain it? Like, I'm expecting the queen and <laughs> king and some horses, some cars. I'm expecting, you know, and some army dudes as well. I am expecting a game of chess. There's a huge <laughs> checkerboard floor. <laughs> the walls are stark white. The whole ceiling is lit up white. There's a huge chrome pillar and what look like gates that you have to walk through. Yep, gates. Everything is white, everything. And like <laughs> you say, clinical. Yeah. It is... It, oh. No, I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> so have a scroll down to the lifts because it really did... It felt like squid gear going to these lifts. And the funny thing is, they, instead of just having a call button for the lift... This is, this is probably the way a lot of buildings do it, but I was, I've not seen it before. And I'm, you know, a bit of a lift connoisseur. Yeah. You go up to the lift and you select what number and it tells you what letter lift to go to. Oh, okay. So instead of you choosing the lift, the lift chooses you. I prefer that in a way. Yeah, so you, you like go up to it and press your floor number and it goes, lift B. You head over to lift B. Is there a picture of inside the lift? There isn't. Not, oh my god! One, no, but in that picture of the lifts at the end, there is that something on the wall, or is that the butt plug that killed my nan? <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I, I, it probably both. They they put it on a plinth as a monument. That's all very bizarre, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but inside the lifts, it's kind of like a. It's all shiny. Kind of yeah. like a. Almost like a maroon, but a little more purpley. Okay. Um, and then on the ceiling, it's like that colour, but big round thing where the light is. But it's like yeah. it's like the size of the lift, nearly. Mm. So there isn't a really a lot of purple on the ceiling. It's more just light. Right. But the back of the door, so the inside of doors, you used to be metal in lifts, aren't you? Yes. These were like bloody mirrors. The metal was that shiny. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was stood on the lift looking at myself thinking, <laughs> I don't want to be looking at myself. I hate that when you're in a mirror and there's other people in there and all you've got to look at is your reflection. And it's like, <laughs> it's awkward. It's, it's bad enough knowing where to look in a lift as is. But when it's completely mirrored, it makes it even worse. The pressure of not looking at someone. <laughs> I'll what tell you these... I'll tell you what though, it was a complete, complete difference when you got to the floor of where I was working. Because okay. it was all very like artificial plants, purple, big monitors on the walls. Okay. Um and it was it was like a really warm kind of feel. Very yeah. casual. Um they had like two floors and they had um between the floors not only could you take the lift, but you could actually just walk down these stairs at the side of what's basically like, God, what would you call it? Like an amphitheatre, but not rounded, just like between the two okay. floors. These steps were basically like big things that everyone can sit there and okay. they can hold like meetings and stuff there. Oh, like big, okay. big, you know, everyone come along and gather. Uh, there's massive kitchen, like okay. literally like the length of the one side of the office. You know, three coffee machines wow. in it and three dishwashers and, you know, everything. It was it wow. was one spectacular office. Very nice. 
Wow, okay. It was like, yeah, that's not what I'd expect in an office in the north of England <laughs> at all. That's no. like a typical, uh, like, almost like um, a startup company kind of office, you know, these tech startups. Um, yeah. Like super modern. Yeah. yeah, it was excellent. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed that at least. Yeah, that was, <laughs> yeah, that was a <laughs> highlight. It was an enjoyable couple of days in the capital. Good. Uh, yeah. Aside from the prices. And... Aside from the prices and, and the train journey. So coming home as well, the train, <laughs> I got I got the tube to the train station, two mm -hmm. stops along, £2.90, not bad. Okay, so yeah. Save me a mile and a half walk with my bag. Fair enough. Well, two bags, I had two bags by that point because of all the stuff I've been given, including yeah. a new laptop. Okay. You know what laptop they've given me? I was slightly gutted at first, but I started to warm to it. They gave me a Is MacBook it? Air. I was going to say, ah, that's so cool. Yeah. But I don't do Macs, <laughs> so I've got no idea yeah. how to use it. Like, now, look, baby. Look, luckily, it's mostly, it's mostly cloud-based, so I'm just pissing about with yeah. Chrome. So, thankfully, it's not too much getting into details with mm. Apple software. Um, yeah. But, yeah, very bizarre to be using something completely different. May I ask, what is your job? What is your new job? What is my job? Yeah. Um, a digital energy specialist. What's that? <laughs> what, what that? <laughs> For a company n not in the UK. Ooh. But so are you tech UK. support for people in India? <laughs> 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 no, not quite. Not oh, quite. okay. okay. <laughs> it's, it is customer support, to be fair. Uh, mostly replying to emails. So it should okay. be good once I get into it, but I've still got another couple of weeks of training, and then I'll let you know how I get on. Yeah, please do. Yeah. I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'm <Sounds> intrigued. <laughs> oh, dear. Wow. But, yeah, wow. so um, Houston train station, though, They've got like this big area outside. I don't think they want you all waiting inside because there's a big massive screen outside to see when your train is. I thought it yeah. may as well stand out there. It's a nice sunny day. It stunk. Did it? Yeah, it just stunk of like backed up drains. It was oh, rank. No. And I was just like, this, you know, there's food places around there. All this uh, money, all this extra money you pay to, to be in London and breathe their air. And it smells like that. Yeah, you've got the clean air yeah. zone. Yeah, it smells like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. disgusting. Uh, but yeah, the train on the way back, I was so good too because I was going backwards again. Oh, uh, it wasn't your, your time, was no. it? No. For... Luckily, the Travel. seat next to me stayed empty. Okay. Um, but luckily, I had a window this time. Yeah. So, so yeah, it wasn't all bad. I'm there completely distant. The funny thing is, on the way down there, we did end up 10 minutes delayed at um, Warrington Bank Key Station because they tried to set off and it, like, went forward a little bit and stopped. Okay. And then on the displays in the, cab in the um, carriages, it said E1. And I was like... Okay. Okay. And, okay. And then you got the staff running up and down the train, like wondering what, what the issue is. And I'm like okay. thinking, have you not got the manual for this error code? <laughs> I bet it was someone sticking a dildo to the roof of the camera. It probably was. <laughs> Couldn't find a code for that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So it took 10 minutes to get that sorted out. Um, but yeah, so we got there eventually. But it's just these bizarre yeah. things. Like, who thinks up error codes for trains? Like, e, let's just go for a generic one. We'll just call it E1. Like, yeah. leave everyone e wondering what the hell it is. Look it up. Yeah. Train don't work. <laughs> broke. Train, train broke. Train stop. <laughs> <laughs> Unexpected train stop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So yeah wow so is that was that your, was the rest of it all smooth aside from that yeah apart from that it was all good 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 yeah wow right. <laughs> definitely keep us posted so i suppose i suppose we better really have a bit of feedback uh yeah we should we should I, i'm gonna let you play the feedback 
Well, nothing changes, does it? Yeah, I'll play the feedback. Um, I suppose I have got the mixer in front of me, so it does make sense. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I would try, but I don't have the mixer in front of me. <laughs> so it is totally down to you. Yeah, okay, sorry right. Let's see who we've got then. Steve, they do so much more for the pictures on food menus these days. You can full on get yourself, if you're any good, a full time job as, I think it's called a food artist where you will literally say be given a Big Mac and you've got to paint it to look nice and then you'll pull it all apart and you'll cut it up and you'll reshape it basically to make it look nothing like it actually does and to make it look nice but yeah that's a full-on like career path man yes yeah. that is so true we're talking that about yeah true. how they, they, all these quirky ways they try and make food look better than it is so they can advertise it yeah. i mean funnily enough my my brother-in-law this is slight sidestep but it does go so she said you know a food artist and my brother-in-law used to work for subway um this is going back along now and his official job title he was just a guy who made sandwiches right his official job title was <coughs> sandwich artist yeah, that's the thing, that sandwich artist. They just make sandwiches, mate. Yeah. <laughs> In an artistic way. They're just trying to make it really pretentious, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's true. Maybe that is a potential career path. Could you see yourself doing that? Nah. Nah. <laughs> I, no, it, it I don't think I'd have the patience. It. No, I, it, it's very cool and it's very creative and all the rest of it, but... I find it so disingenuous, you know. It's, it's very what? Me. Disingenuous. No, like, it's that. not... Huh? Before that, what word did you use? I've forgotten already. What word did I use? You've forgotten the word you used. Everybody's what? so creative. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> they ain't gonna slide down easy if it ain't if cheesy. It ain't cheesy. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh my god. Oh right. So hang on, we've got loads of feedback to get through. Let's get cracking. Let's go, let's go. And Nicole is exactly spot on why eating in of costs course. more than takeaway. It's literally you're using their shop front, you're using their stuff. They've got to wash the dishes after you. Whereas if you're takeaway, you're binning it, hopefully, and not just chucking it on the floor. So no, Nicole, as a woman, is correct. And she always <laughs> will be. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. Doing it for the girls there. Yeah, look at that. Taking your side. There's she looks surprise. after me, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. <laughs> Very, yeah, she does look after me. Love you, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else have we got? Is this going to be Holly again? She I'm loves sure. us, doesn't she? We love she Holly. Does. We do love Holly. I'm dying to explain. She's on the M6 again. Yeah. Sorry, no, a bit high, a bit low down for the M6. The M, um, what do you have? The M25. Uh, yes. <laughs> you don't know which Maybe. motorway she's on. No. <laughs> explain the joke to Steve, but I am currently walking down the M1, and I'm not the only one. M1. There you go. M1. There we go. <laughs> is she going to explain the joke? I don't think she I hope is. So. I, I, I'd like her to. I don't think she is either. I will try my best to remember to explain it when I'm somewhere quieter and send it in, hopefully in time. Love to you both. Oh, I'm looking forward to hearing that. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, that was brilliant. M1. See, she answered. The, all we had to do was listen to her. We were getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah, we were. I'm sorry. OK, and who's this piece of feedback from? I'm absolutely with Nicole oh, on not Ollie. liking full fat Ollie. coke. The yeah. syrup, syrup, syrup <laughs> makes it taste <laughs> sticky. It tastes like a, how a horrible hangover feels when it's really hot. It's just hot. It's sticky. It's icky. Blah. The McDonald's documentary loads of them they're brilliant but you also need to check out the one on netflix about pepsi so it's called pepsi where's my jet or something like that and it's basically about how they did a big you know like you got mcdonald's monopoly supposedly you get all these prizes pepsi said you can win a jet nobody got their jet watch it 
Yeah, I've seen it. We it is, it is, that, didn't we? Yeah, we it actually is talked brilliant. about this a little while ago. But yeah, no, I, I did also watch it uh, off the back of us talking about it on here. So yeah, no, it was it was really good. But I love the way Holly described full fat coke. I completely agree. Yeah. I agree with you. It does taste like a hangover feels when it's warm. <laughs> that is perfect. And it makes your teeth feel furry afterwards. It's like get yeah. that like feeling. No, I don't like it. Okay, I might have another piece to play. I'll find okay. out now. I've started something. Cookie Monster, where's this week's episode? I've run out of things to listen to now. <laughs> oh, that's, that, that, that wasn't me getting the tell it off then. I love that so much that he calls you Crookie Monster. <laughs> I am actually changing your name in my phone book as we speak. Oh dear. I'm a cotton I'm doing it. muggins. <laughs> <laughs> Cricky Monster. There we go. Okay, so he actually, he's given us a topic to talk about, but I think with the, our timings now, it's going to have to be for next week. Yes. Um, so I'll tell you what, I'll throw it out as something that people can get in contact with for next week, right? Okay. Strange things that you like the smell of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, he, he did tell me the big black dildo thing yes. was real because he knew the crew that were on the flight. There you go, Andy. So, yeah, it's real. It's and real. And he's made a guess at what is inside Nicole's box. Oh, yes. He, oh, do, we, oh, do you want to do that in a minute? I can I can let you know it now. Can okay, I? I can do it now. Yeah, do it he's now. He's suggesting it's a big black dildo. Oh. 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 Oh, is he close? Um, No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I also had a couple of guesses and as we're doing it now I'll quickly read them out. Okay. Um so Sally asked if it's a toothbrush. Quite interesting. Um and Andy asked if it's soap. Okay. Are any of those close, Steve? I don't know, I can't remember what it was. Can you shake it again? You have the play button for that one, my dear. I don't know where it is. I was hoping you had it to hand. I don't have it to hand, no. no, If you want to know what it sounds like, go back to last week's episode. Yeah, listen to last week's episode. Oh, no, Um, I must have it somewhere. I will say that of all the guesses, Andy's was the closest. I'm not going to say how close or anything like that, but that's that's the closest one. So there you go. I think think it might be this one. Was it from the 18th of April? Uh, Could well have been. (laughs) We don't know when we set it. This may or not may not be what's in Nicole's box. Nah, that's not it. That's not. That's the old one. That's the old one. Yeah, you've lost my new my new <laughs> shaky shaky box. That's uh, not good. Yeah. Right, let's finish feedback, shall we? <laughs> so I, I know we've got at least one more audio. Have we? That was sent via Messenger. Oh, yeah, we have. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. Okay, let's see what's said in this then. Yeah. Long time listener, first time caller. Oh, hello. Andy here. Um, Very posh sounding. I'd like to say, I've got a theory of why when we get older, time seems to go by faster. Um, The reason why I feel like it goes faster is because when you get older, a year is like a less percentage of your life. So, like, okay. when you're 10 years old, a ten, a one year is a whole 10 for your life. Yeah. However, when you get to, like, 80-odd, it's an 80 for your life. And then, what is that? That's nothing. So, yeah, that's that's my theory. And I'm currently doing this recording at the zoo on a very lovely sunny Sunday. So, I hope everyone's having fun. Oh, thank you for your message, Andy. That was brilliant. I love that. That's- Sending us a message so, from the zoo. That's absolutely, yeah, fantastic. A li- little bit, you know, a bit different from the M1, isn't it? Yeah, so, it is. <laughs> what we're um, and I think that's actually a really, I think that's a really interesting point that he's made there, in all honesty. Yeah, because, yeah, when you, but at the same time, do you really remember much before, like, you were 10? Not, like, loads, but I do no. remember quite a bit. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. you got yeah. better, better memory than me, then. Yeah, obviously, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I do actually have a little bit more feedback from Andy just to read out. Oh, um, he said, yeah. he said, yeah, Uncle Jerry outlived the metaverse as even Zuckerberg has given up on it as a yeah. project. 
<laughs> what a waste of billions of dollars could have bought un- an Uncle Jerry mug for everyone in the world. Yeah. <laughs> you should have done, you? Um, also, any potential partners of Nicole should take note about the carrot cake. Also, make sure it's not a basics carrot cake. Only the best will do. Andy has given y'all the best advice. <laughs> okay, ever. Really good carrot cake is very important to me. You want to impress? Bring carrot cake. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. Great advice oh, lives here. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for all of the lovely... We were spoiled again with feedback this week. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys very much for all of that. Um, please do it again. Um, go to topicopedia.online, fill out our sexy feedback form. Um, you could you could attach a voice clip. That would be awesome. We like playing those out, don't we? So, um, yeah, also don't forget to... And the more we the get, the more... Pressure there is on me to get organised with them and actually know what's going to come. Up. People are going to do it now just yeah. because they know it's going to it's going to put you under it's pressure. It's going to throw me off. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they people are like that, aren't they? They like to keep you on your toes. So um, yes, um, but yeah, yeah. I think I think that does conclude feedback this week. Excellent. That was absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So I mean, there's something else that I'd put aside to talk about this week but i'm gonna say for next week okay um okay. i because i want to hear your story my I, story people might have seen about your story on i think you put it on tiktok didn't you i put it on tiktok <clears throat> i did share it across a few of our socials um but if you're not following us on on, on our socials you should because you would have ha- heard that story a, you know a week ago when it happened you know, and, and not hearing it now. Um, so what happened was, <clears throat> is uh, I ordered um, my dog food online, okay? Um, and they said it was going to be delivered on Friday, okay? okay. Um, and I was sat there Thursday. I was getting ready for my big, you know, my big night out, my gig. Who's right? it? Where did so, you order it from? Uh, pets at home. Oh, okay. Do you not get, like... Accurate delivery information. Yeah, so okay. I mean, I, they said it. They it, it was expected to arrive Friday when I placed the order, and then as I'm sat there, I've got my I've had a shower, my hair's all done, um, and I'm sat. It, it's it's so hot in my room at the moment with the weather and everything that I'm sat in like underwear and this really skimpy bathrobe. And when I sit, it's like you know, really lightweight one. It doesn't cover much. And I mean, it barely covers my bum, right? It, it is very short. <laughs> so I'm sat lounging around in that. That's absolutely fine. <clears throat> my housemate's home. So, you know, if the door goes, I don't have to worry about it. And uh, I get a text whilst I'm sat there getting ready saying that it's out for delivery today, on today, a day earlier. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, it's not a problem, is it? It's not a problem. Very nice. You know, someone will be here, so it's not a problem. So, um, you know, I'm sat there getting ready and I hear the, the door go and i'm thinking he's not going to answer the door why is he not answering the door and i look out and the bathroom door shut he's in the bathroom so it's like right i'll go and open the door <laughs> now in theory this shouldn't be any sort of a problem you know open the door take the parcel shut the door everyone's happy but it wasn't quite like that okay. so i open the door and it's the every guy it was every who delivered okay. and i know him i don't know him know him but I buy a lot of stuff, okay. <laughs> and um, he knows you. Know, you. He knows your address. He, yeah, he does. He definitely knows me. Uh, he always says hello and how 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 am I and all that kind of thing. Lovely chat. He's an older gentleman, really nice guy. Um, and he said, "Oh, be careful! It's heavy." And I was like, "Right, okay." And I said, "Could you do me a favour? Because I didn't want to bend over in this little dressing robe." I said, "You do me a little favour and just pop it." in the hallway for me yeah no problem so he brings it in and he steps back out on the doorstep by which point my dog the asshole that she is she's a git running out into the street so anyway he managed to grab her and he handed her back to me so yeah. you know, i chucked her in the sitting room thinking that's enough time for me to you know shut the door mm-hmm but he wanted to take a picture of it as proof of delivery. <laughs> That's awkward, isn't it? So she's there running back out again and he hands her back to me and I chucked her in the city. Anyway, he still hadn't taken his freaking photo. <laughs> Typical boomer with technology taking yeah. three million years. <laughs> Actually, to so, be fair, it probably is the every app, you know. 
I, I think it is actually. They all seem to struggle with it. Anyway, so um, you know, after about the third time of the dog running out and him grabbing her for me, bless his heart. Um, I thought I'm going to have to actually shut her in the living room. So I threw her in there. And well, I, I say I threw her in there. She was about to slip past me again. So I turned around and grabbed her. Now, she's a chihuahua. She's small. So I had to bend down quite far. And it was instinctive to do it before she ran out the door again. And I flashed him my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I threw her in the front room, shut the door. I turned back round. He took that picture quick, quick, fast. It was very f quick. And his eyes didn't leave the floor. <laughs> he, he didn't look me in the eye. And he shuffled off faster than I've ever seen him go ever. Uh, it was incredibly awkward. And um, I was absolutely mortified. Yeah. Mortified. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Thanks, thanks, Ivy. You, you were little git. you were wearing underwear, weren't you? I was. Oh, okay. Oh, it's not too bad then. Uh, no, it was bad. It was still bad. okay. <laughs> still bad. Still bad. Still bad. <laughs> it wasn't it a full wasn't flash good. then, surely. No. What, what underwear was it? Was it up, up the crack? No, no, no. Listen, we don't need to go into the details of it. Look, he saw more than he ever needed to. Okay. <laughs> It was more than I was comfortable showing. Yeah, but everyone, but as I, everyone listening is going to want specifics. No, I don't care what they want. They're not getting it. <laughs> no, not Fair the dude. dancing monkey. <laughs> no, look, look, come on. Let's have some modicum of decorum, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. So, yeah. Are we, are we going on to meme of the week then? Are we there? Yeah, you've quickly changed topic then, haven't you? Yeah, we will do that. Are we there? We're we not there. I don't mind if we're not there. We can we can not be there. No, no, we're, we're done. done. We're we're yeah, I think we're done. Okay, I'm trying to find out who won. But oh, here we go. Oh yeah, go on. Very, very. Our website's a bit iffy, my dear. <laughs> very iffy. We'll fix it, it at some point. We will fix it. Oh, so, who do you think has won? It's you. Don't be ridiculous. My meme was weak sauce, and I knew it at the time. And quite rightly so, it didn't win. I mean, to be fair, I did have... It was fairly close. I had 42.11% of the votes. Okay. So I am quite, quite impressed, actually, yeah. that it did as well as it did do. Um, <clears throat> but no, yours won. And rightly so, I do think yours was better. So there we go. Um, do you have a meme for us this week? Yeah, Steve? I've got a topical meme. Oh, brilliant. Okay, let's have it. Okay, so this is topical about this week. Yeah. So you got the gates of heaven there. Yeah. Um, and Rolf Harris wandering through with his walking stick. Yeah. And in the front, you got Tina Turner singing, We don't need another pedo. <laughs> that was a terrible <laughs> Tina Turner impression. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's quite good. I might have a topical one as well then. Cause... Okay. <laughs> Let me find it a sec, because I was going to do a different one. But as you're doing it, I feel I can. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just need to find it because I sent it. Here we go. Here we go. Um, so it's. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> just from that laugh, gone. So it's just a complete white background, and you've got like a pile of ash, and the caption is, "Can you guess what it is yet?" Oh, yeah, I've had that one as well. Yeah. Can you guess what it is yet? I can't do a very good <laughs> accent. Sorry. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, there we go. That's going to be my submission for this week. Excellent. <laughs> right. Have you brought any jokes with you? Of course I have. Okay, yeah, we'll finish on a joke. Jokes. Go on then. Okay, I've got two. Okay. I always bring two because I always disappoint with one of them, okay. don't I? Yeah, straight okay. face. What do you call a magician who's lost his magic? don't know ian oh okay that's you get it yeah i get it i still wait okay. for holly to explain the the one from a few weeks ago oh, it sounds like she might have to explain this one as yeah well. <laughs> no i, I get all it right, i get right. it it's just crap thank you okay <laughs> don't know if i want to give you another one <laughs> um <clears throat> are you ready for it ready for what my next joke oh right i thought that was part of the joke 
<laughs> I don't know why. I haven't started yet. I'm just making sure you're ready. Okay, yeah, go on. I'm ready. <laughs> why do orphans rob banks? I don't know why do orphans rob banks. Because it's guaranteed they'll be wanted afterwards. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take one from my list of very brave man jokes. Okay, okay. How do you turn a fox into an elephant? I don't know. Marry it. I don't get it. How do you turn a fox into an elephant? Marry it. I don't get it. Okay, now. Right, you know what? I'm going to give you another one now. No, explain it to me. <laughs> it's obviously referring to women. No, I don't Never mind. That. Okay. What's the difference between a battery and a woman? I don't know. A battery has a positive side. Oh, we're going there with the sexism <laughs> this week. Okay. Okay. It's a oh. list of brave man jokes. I'll put it aside. I I don't... Okay. <laughs> You're not okay. liking them. No. No. They're not going to do it for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, we got to do I'll the be interested to again. see what feedback we get after that one. <laughs> you know, I'll have I feel like next week. You know, Holly's going to have something to say about it. <laughs> oh my goodness! But anyway, yeah, thanks for listening. Um, head over to Topicopedia online. Uh, fill out our sexy feedback form. Vote for your favourite meme of the week. Give us a guess as to what you what you think's in our box. It's not Rolf Harris's ashes. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's your clue of the week. And it's not um, a black dildo. It's not a big black dildo, no. No, no it's not a bar of soap. <laughs> it's not a toothbrush. Um, so, yeah, keep the guesses coming in. And let and... us know what unusual things you like the smell of. Yes. Yes. And anything else you'd like us to chat about, let us know. Topicopedia.online. Awesome, and we'll see you next week. See you next week. Have a good one.